There's a new push to raise awareness of a vaccine that help can, can help prevent several types of cancer. It's the vaccine to protect against HPV. And while most parents of tweens have heard about it, experts say that many adults could benefit from the shot, but they don't even realize it. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look for us. Well, Christy and Devin, the HPV vaccine is now typically given between the ages of 9 and 12. It protects against high-risk virus strains that are associated with certain types of cancer. However, those who reached adulthood before the vaccine's approval in 2006 often remain at risk, and many are just unaware of the link between the virus and HPV-related cancers. What started as a small tickle in Glenn Moog's throat was ultimately diagnosed as HPV-related throat cancer. I had never even heard of HPV virus cancer, or I don't think I even paid attention to the, what the HPV virus was. That's common among those who entered adulthood before a vaccine was available. Now, cases of HPV-related mouth and throat cancers are increasing nationwide. One of the more commonly known cancers is cervical cancer, but overtaking that now is oral pharyngeal cancer, or cancer in the back of the throat. Experts at Ohio State and the Solov Research Institute predict HPV-related throat cancer will soon be one of the most prevalent types of cancer among those age 45 to 65. Because there are usually no symptoms of HPV infections, many are unknowingly carrying and spreading high-risk viruses. And eventually, over time, years and years, sometimes decades later, those cells transform into a cancer. So doctors encourage vaccination, not just for kids, but for adults up to age 45. If they haven't been exposed or if they have the potential for getting reinfected, there is a potential, there is benefit. After five years of treatment, Glenn is cancer-free and wants others to know the importance of preventative measures. Why not protect yourself um, get a vaccine and just you don't have to worry about it. Now, if you are under the age of 45 and have not received the HPV vaccine or you're unsure if you received it, talk to your primary care doctor about whether the vaccine is right for you because experts say increasing awareness among both adults and parents is really a powerful tool to improve HPV vaccination rates and ultimately really prevent future cancers. But yeah. so interesting, they're talking to, to these adults about their kids, but not necessarily about them. Exactly, yeah. and that is a huge gap right now. We right. just need to fill that in. Yes,